If you want to get into podcasting, forget Zoom. That is not the way to go. You definitely want to try Zencaster. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with quality. And so it's incredibly important to me. And, you know, not all of my guests are tech savvy. They don't all have the best internet connection. Zencaster is able to solve all of those problems with their really innovative platform. If you go to Zencaster.com and use promo code Holly, you will get the first three months for 30% off. That's Zencaster.com and use promo code Holly to take advantage of this incredible offer today. How the f*** was your honeymoon? (laughs) I didn't ask you that. I'm such a horrible friend for not asking you that. It was good. I had a lot of sex. In a lot of places. Uh, it was good. What was your favorite city that you guys visited? Uh, like, I like hit the Ro- the history of Rome, but Venice was, like, Ugh, the I'm coolest. I'm dying to go to Venice. I'm yeah. dying, dying, People either, dying. like, love or hate Venice. Like, it was always, like, people say, like, if you love Venice, then you'll hate um, Florence and, like, vice versa. Mm-hmm. But, like, I'm the, I'm team Venice. Okay. Personally. <laughs> well, I mean, I just, like, think it's such a romantic city with the waterways i mean another like kind of gross and no i mean like it's not i expected it to be like la river gross Mm -hmm. but it wasn't no i I can see why people don't like it because nothing is a straight line yeah and like getting around you get very confused but if you're there with someone that like you are you know like i was there with my husband so it was romantic but like if you're there with like a group of friends you're gonna be like no yeah because it's it's very romantic at least it seemed that way to right. me. Right. The only time I went to Italy was with my dad. And we went to Rome and uh, Capri, which is amazing. I oh, so amazing. It's like literally the most beautiful place I've ever been. Oh. And uh, Naples. And it was like a very romantic trip yeah. with my dad. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was, I loved it. And my dad's a uh, Greek and Roman scholar, like history scholar. So he was having like a personal tour guide. It was yeah. incredible. He knew well, everything was, about everything. That's like Vic. Like, Vic is a history ma- major, yeah. among other majors. But, like, it was cool because I'm, like, a retard. Like, I'm, like, walking around, like, I don't know what that is. And he's like, this is this and this from something, something BC. And this and that. They conquered. And then they did this to it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> that is so great to have, like, that personal, like, history guide. Yeah. It's amazing. Because I feel like I probably wouldn't have liked Rome as much yeah. if I had gone without him because yeah. I wouldn't have known what anything is. Right. I didn't pay attention yeah. That was like my favorite thing about Rome. Like my dad was just like knew everything. <laughs> it was so cool. Your dad's, your parents are just cool. Yeah. They're like cool. your family's cool. Actually. Yeah. Now I think about it. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm lucky. I like, you know, we get together <laughs> for Christmas and, and we sit around. I just feel so, I feel so blessed to have a family that we all get along. We all really yeah. like each other. We get together and we like laugh so much. And we just like, there's so much warmth there. There's no tension. There's no like anger. You know, there's been like, you know, other people's families that I've gone and visited, like, you know, with exes or whatever. And it just was like, I don't know. Like, yeah. My family's just like, fuck, dude, I'm so lucky. And I know so many people who like hate their family. Yeah. And have like, yeah, it just, it's, I feel f- I have a small family, mm-hmm. but they're awesome. My f- Vic's family is the coolest. Yeah, they were great. Because they're f- Sicilian. Yeah. So it's like exactly what you think it is. It's like Moonstruck 24 7. Like, I love it. <laughs> That's the fucking His favorite awesome. cousin. Yeah. She God. was so funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm fortunate because that could have gone really bad. Like, if you marry someone and their family sucks, you're like, yeah. mm. Mm. But they're cool. Yeah. No, you're lucky. Families, yeah. Especially in the industry, because I feel like a lot of performers, like, struggle with family because... They okay. judge for what they do. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know, and then they get scared about telling them, and then they find out, and then... What... How did your... Like, how was it when you first started, and, like, your family found out? Were they pretty cool about it? My... I wasn't speaking to my mom at the time, because I dropped out of school, and she was, like fucking pissed about it Mm -hmm. um and I my dad and I have like no relationship really Mm -hmm. so (laughs) the story goes (laughs) um like this was probably like my second year performing um and I shot for Mm -hmm. and like my dad called my mom and was like my friend saw our daughter in the centerfold and I'm like no you did 
because no one knows what I look like. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, my dad and I don't, like, yeah. so I have this feeling, like, my dad, like, got his Playboy, or not Playboy, uh, penthouse subscription. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was so <laughs> awkward. So <laughs> awkward. It's like, oh, my so, God, that's my kid. Yeah, and then, like, my mom found out, and then it was, like, my mom was not for it in the beginning because she thought I was going to like develop like a drug issue. Like she thought it was like 1980s and everyone walked around in robes and did I okay. Do, I, and then... I have a feeling that probably most parents don't like throw a party when they find no. out their kids doing because not even necessarily that they're against, but like you don't ever want to think about a f- uh, family member in a sexual way. Yeah. It's just weird. Yeah. I feel like that, that's <clears throat> like more like my mom is very like sexually open and sexually free. Like the household that I grew up in was very like, we, it, you know, you, we talked about everything, mm-hmm. you know, like it wasn't like sex was never sheltered. It was never like looked down upon, but I don't think she would have ever wanted me to be right in for those yeah. reasons. Um, but a few years later after like figuring out like, Oh, okay. She sees this as like a business, not mm-hmm. like I'm going to go rage and party every weekend and develop drug habits and do whatever. So now she's all for it. Like now, like when I won performer, she sent me flowers and, um, she's cool. She's like one of my closest friends. My mom and I have a very good relationship. Yeah. So. She's awesome. She looks just like you too. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really like, you guys yeah, it's so creepy. Alike. And like when, um, like Vic and I started dating, my mom was seeing someone and like they would like we, like we would be in the other room and we'd be like, hey, babe. And like they would look at each other because I didn't know who was talking like me or my mom because <laughs> <laughs> with the exact same voice. Yeah. So but yeah, that's my mom. She's cool. If you want to get into podcasting, forget Zoom. That is not the way to go. You definitely want to try Zencaster. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with quality, and so it's incredibly important to me. And, you know, not all of my guests are tech savvy. They don't all have the best internet connection. Zencaster is able to solve all of those problems with their really innovative platform. If you go to Zencaster.com and use promo code Holly, you will get the first three months for 30% off. That's zencaster.com and use promo code Holly to take advantage of this incredible offer today. 